foreigners that I was I was browsing around this area and to be honest that was the most unsafe I felt in Korea when I was around other foreigners. Watch it. It's Hey YouTube, this is your girl Amber Gonzalez from Ambi Speaks Korean. I'm Young Aseo. Che Chanodel Oshinkasu Panyogamida. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. I got 3,500 new subscribers in 28 days on this channel. Thank you guys. Gamsamida. Y'all, that means so much to me. <laughs> thank y'all for watching my videos and everything of me in South Korea. And I will be going back in January. Yes, in January I will be going back to South Korea. So I saw with all of you new subscribers that came over, I also see all the new comments and a lot of you were asking me about my, I'm sorry, it's like crickets, birds, all the nature animals in the background. You guys know I live in Puerto Rico, right? Um, so I live in Caguas, Puerto Rico, just in case if um, the new subscribers don't know. So it's a lot of sounds and a lot of nature in the background. I'm actually on my front porch right now filming this video. Come on bird, whatever you are, stop talking. <laughs> Not a dog is barking, jeez. Okay, anyways, a lot of you all wanted to know, is it safe to travel to South Korea for a female solo traveler? So I've been traveling to South Korea every year, um, once or twice a year for the last uh, three years, right? So I go there often, and the reason for that is uh, because I am learning the language. So is it this month? I think next month, marks a year or this month marks a year of me studying Korean consistently with the same teacher so uh, before I was self studying on and off but I've been studying consistently now for one year and yes so that's why I go to South Korea so often and I do go by myself when I first went I didn't know anybody um, I made friends when I went there I went as a solo female traveler and um, yeah, I only knew this much of the language and I went by myself with the goal to just hear the language and get used to it. And I was only there for a couple weeks the first time. And then I turned around and went the next month. So, and then history from that, every year I just been going. Well, so. first of all, yes, it is definitely safe for travelers in general to go to South Korea. Female travelers, it is safe for you to go to South Korea. Now, obviously, wherever you travel in the world, you want to be sure, uh, be aware of your surroundings and be sure that you're not um, breaking the rules of that country or you're respecting the culture of that country. It don't matter where you go. You want to make sure that you're broadcasting your best self wherever you are, right? And you also want to use common sense. So, um, but you probably can use less common sense in South Korea because to be because <laughs> to be honest, like people don't really bother you. Um, the most that you'll get bothered is maybe at night and people are drunk. I mean, people drink a lot in South Korea. That is like they have the biggest drinking culture in Asia. I was told. I think Japan might have the first largest drinking culture than in South Korea so they really don't bother foreigners the punishments are a lot harsher in these countries than they are I'm sure in your home country their government don't want those type of problems so and, and trust me the citizens there don't want to get in that type of trouble because it's harsh punishment they don't really bother you it's a pretty safe country now of course you got people that feel like they just gotta find something negative to say so Yes, it is crime in South Korea. Nobody's saying it's not. Nobody is saying it's not. But if you live in the United States, turn on your news at 5 o'clock tonight. And look at all the crime going on in a town near you. If that's what you're looking for, it ain't nothing like that in, in South Korea. So what I've experienced as a traveler and from my friends that's been living there and from my teacher that's grown up, lived there his entire life. So these are things I'm getting from them as well. It is a very safe country to travel to. So some things you can do to be extra safe, I would say, is... You want to be aware of your surroundings, so you definitely want to learn some Korean phrases, um, survival phrases, just some Korean, right, while you're there, so that you're able to communicate. You want to just be able to learn phrases of that country and use it while you're there. It helps, right? Um, you want to learn, where's the police? Help. Um, I'm hungry. Where is? How much is this? Uh, where are we going? You know, things like that. Actually, my most viewed video here on this channel is the walking at night in South Korea or walking at night in Busan, something like that, by myself. And 
that video has the most views and a lot of you all commented under that video so if you watch that video you see I'm at night nobody's bothering me I'm walking it's probably I don't know if it was 12 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the morning but it was late so something that I realized while I was there was um, I felt a little bit uncomfortable when I was in Chechu Island and I noticed that Chechu Island have a lot more foreigners there um, it was a lot of people from Yemen people from um, some people from Europe right uh, people from China don't get me wrong it's majority Korean right but it was it's it's the area I was in where it's primarily foreigners that I was I was browsing around this area and to be honest that was the most unsafe I felt in Korea when I was around other foreigners <laughs> I know that sounds crazy but listen y'all it's the truth I even asked one of my language partners like why is it that I feel a little ooh, like unsafe in Jeju and she's like oh because it's more crime in Jeju than it is in Seoul or things like that and I'm like really are you sure she's like yes foreigners. Foreigners. Koreans is not trying to rob you they not trying to do none of that stuff it's a very safe place to go to I love South Korea. The food is amazing. The people are so nice. If you watch most videos, uh, YouTubers talk about Korea, one thing we all say is they're very nice people. They're extremely nice. Every time I go to South Korea, out of all the times I've gone, it's only two people that's ever been rude to me. A bus driver and an Ajuma. Well, wait. Yeah, the Ajuma and her restaurant. That's a story time. Um, okay, three people because it was another Ajima like the very first time I came, but we ended up being friends. We even still talk to this day because she called me fat, y'all, but she thought she was helping me. Y'all have been saw that story time. That was hilarious. That was my first story time on this channel. But um, other than that, like they're really nice people. They're very friendly. I'm not going to sit up here and look for something negative. Y'all just be needing something negative for me to say, but no. I have nothing negative to say about South Korea. <laughs> it's a pretty safe place for female travelers to go to. And um, like I said, the punishments are very harsh to mess with foreigners or hurt foreigners in any type of way. So you're pretty safe, my dude. You're safe. Anyway, so that sums up this video. I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, and yes. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, leave a comment below, subscribe to this channel, share this video, and all that above, and I will see you all in my next story time. Yes, stay tuned for the story time. It's crazy. <laughs> Bye.